I got up here a little example of how we're going to do this and how we're going to learn it. So um, you can see I got a part, right? Got a half inch diameter here, a three quarter inch diameter here. Uh, it's got a 25 thousandths radius here and a 50 thousandths by 45 degree chamfer here. All right. So um, for a chamfer and a radius, you have to double the R or the chamfer dimension, right? This or this for the unknown X. All right. So which is the unknown X for this one here, right? So I know where it ends. I know that the chamfer ends at 0.5. All right. So when I look here, I know my known X is 0.5. All right. So when I look down here, like here's an example that we're going to do, right? So when I look down here, I can see that I have my known X is my ending point, which is here, which is 0.2. Right, so I don't know where my x starts. So what do I got to do to figure out where my x starts? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in and I'm going to take what I know, which is 0.500, all right, and I'm going to subtract this, but I got to double it. So minus 0.100, that gives me 0 0.400, right? So 0 0.1, which is the unknown x, is going to be my result from this math that I do right here. So that's going to be 0.400, all right? Now, to get to the end, right, to get to the end, I know what my x is, right? We already figured that out. I know it's 0.5. There's my diameter here. That's that point there. That's going to be 0.500, all right? Now I got to figure out how to get there into Z, all right? So what do I got to do for the Z? So to find the unknown Z, add the R or the chamfer number to it, all right? So if I'm at zero, that's where I start. I know that I started at zero, right? I need to go back 50 thousandths, all right? So I got to go Z minus 0 0.050, all right? Now I know both of these points, and now I can plot them over here on my chart. All right? So what do I got to do next? Well, I'm here, so now I got to get back to point number three. All right, so to get to point number three, all I'm doing, it's not an X move, right? The X is the same from here to here, so that X stays the same. So that's still going to be 0.500. All right, that's still 0.5. I need to get there in a Z move, right? So how far back is my Z from my origin to point number three? So to get back to my Z from my origin, right? Because everything's from zero. We're doing absolute programming. So everything's from zero. I'm going to go back minus 1.25. So it's going to be Z minus 1.25. Minus 1.250. That gets me here. All right, um, and that's going to be my known Z for my radius, right? My Z is going to be minus 1.250, all right? Now, I got to figure out my start point for my radius, all right? So to find my start point, I'm going to come over here. I'm going to look to see what I know, all right? So just like over here, I knew where my chamfer ended. I know where my radius ends, right? My radius ends up here. What's that diameter, right? So what's pointing to it? It's 0 0.750. All right, so I'm going to go. Um, I know my X is going to be 0 0.750 where it ends at point number five, right? So how do I find point number four? So I'm going to do the same thing that I did to figure out my chamfer. I'm going to take this number and I'm going to double it. All right. So if I hop over here, I'm going to double this number and I'm going to make that 0 0.050. All right. And then what am I going to subtract? Right. So I'm going to take 0.75 because that's where it ends. 
minus that, so that's going to give me 0.700, all right, for my x. So my beginning x is going to be 0.700, all right? Now, for my z, i got to figure out where my z ending is for that. To figure out my z ending, I take what I know, and I know where I started. I started at minus 1.25. And now I gotta get to the end of my radius. So what am I gonna do? I need to add the 0 0.025, right? Remember, to find the unknown z, add the radius or the chamfer number. So that's gonna be this number here, right? I'm gonna add that to my one point, my minus 1.25, which should give me z minus 1.275, all right? That's how we do a radius and a chamfer, all right? So when you're having trouble, I want you to come back to this, all right? Look at how we figured this one out and apply it to your part that you're making or your points that you're plotting on your other piece.